the following film, we'll aim to show you how to better make use of your binoculars. Binoculars are an important part of a deer stalker's kit. You should never use your rifle scope to scan for animals, as it is not safe to point your rifle at an object before properly identifying it. Here we take a look at some top tips for better binocular use. Okay, so rule number one, stability. Always try and get a firm rest for your binoculars. Don't try and hold them freehand. Here I demonstrate how we use our shooting sticks to stabilize our gaze. However, whenever you're glassing, it's crucial to get a stable rest. Rule number two, glass more, move less. When deer stalking, it's important to employ frequent use of your binoculars before moving onto a new parcel of land or when spying a hillside. Deer can be difficult to spot and so time spent glassing is time well spent. Rule number three, spot and lift. Here we spot our animal, we lift our binoculars to our face. We never take our eyes off the animal. If we do that, especially in dense woodland or over long distances, sometimes you can lose your beast. So, spot your animal, lift your binoculars to your face, all the time keeping an eye on your animal. Don't look down to collect them. If you do so, you may lose it. Here, having spotted my animal, I raise the binoculars to my face to confirm what I have. I then raise the rifle into position without taking my eyes off the target. Rule number four, points of reference. If you do have to take your eyes off your target, then it's worth noting a landmark or a point of reference on the landscape so that you can find your animal again. So we spot our animal, we make a note of where it is, and then we lift our binoculars. So many times I've made the mistake myself of spotting my beast, turning to a client to identify it and point it out to him, and when I come back to look for it, it's disappeared. Don't make that mistake. Rule number five, use the focus wheel. By rolling the focus wheel while glassing, you're able to better achieve depth of vision. If you fail to do this, you may miss beasts that are at a greater or lesser distance than that which you are focused. This can be crucial on the open hill. So that's it for this month and our short look at binoculars. If you'd like to learn more about deer stalking, then visit our website at www.countydeerstalking.co.uk.